and uh, one of the things that I wanted to mention here is that uh, in this trip here usually what I do since I'm going to be out here for several days I buy uh, two or three little slabs of dry ice and what I do is I put it all the way in the bottom all three tablets and then I put a cardboard piece of cardboard over the dry ice and then on top of the cardboard I pour regular ice and what I did is I poured like uh, three bags of regular ice and I have a fourth one that I didn't even get to open which is right here and uh, everything keeps super cold and what I'm expecting it for it to last at least three days all right guys um, here's the uh, example the final uh, outcome of the dry ice that I used this is the regular ice that I put over the cardboard. You can see the cardboard right there. So what I did is I lined the whole bottom with the cardboard, but first three blocks of dry ice, and then the cardboard, and then the uh, regular ice. We put regular ice all the way through nice and even, and then we just left this one here because it was just an extra one. This is still cold. You can see how cold they are still and the ice is still there and it's a block still this is the fourth day since we put it in there and it's still hard this is all solid ice all over the place there so i would highly recommend using dry ice when you're going to do an extended uh travel like we did and um it will last through the whole thing so far today's day number four and i think what we have there left i think we have a fifth day that we can take out of that so this is something I would highly recommend if you're going on a trip and you need to keep ice for a long time that's the way to do it right there all right here's the outcome again this today is the fifth day uh, Monday uh, we installed the dry ice in the regular ice last Thursday today is the fifth day and this is what we still have here we still have solid ice and uh, let me see under here if we could see the uh, dry ice is uh, this that pack is is almost it's all gone but even though that pack is gone there's still solid ice here this is one block this is all solid right here little by little it's it's crumbling but uh, on the fifth day you still have ice in the cooler and um and all the drinks there are still ice cold so i highly recommend the, the uh, dry ice it's an awesome thing to have if you're having a lot of days out you could expect to have ice at least five days worth all right here are a few things you need to know about the dry ice number one when you put it in the cooler you must leave the plug the drain plug of the cooler on plugged do not screw it on leave it open because you need the gas to escape from there number two if you need to touch it and you need to handle the dry ice you just got to remember the dry ice is minus 109 degrees if you hold it too long you could get frostbite so if you need to touch it and you need to grab it grab it with gloves all right because frozen carbon dioxide is what it's made of so 109 degrees that's minus 109 so you got to be careful with it but no matter what it's a great outcome you just take these precautions and you never should have a problem using the dry ice like i did it was there for six days and it lasted all that time highly recommended today is the sixth day since i put it in there there's still ice in there the beer is super ice cold still in the water there and that water there is just the water that the uh uh, regular ice melted after the dry ice finished up already and we still have ice and all those cans there are super ice cold ready to drink and th today is the sixth day since we put the ice in there with the dry ice below that and the uh, cardboard now it's uh, almost time to go ahead and take it out and clean it up and get it ready for the next sandbar adventure hopefully if we start out this Saturday they may still be ice there but I don't think so but anyway it worked out really good and I really recommend whoever has a long trip like that to use the dry ice 
and I had no issues, no problems, and um, uh, other than than the benefits that uh, you keep all your food and drinks cold through the next several days. Now is a great time to like and subscribe. All you have to do is click on the subscribe button below. It's free, and you'll be part of the Keys Boating Channel family. Thanks so much for your support.